Hello, my name is Joshua Rayberg, and I'm an ultrasound fellow at Maine Medical Center in Portland, Maine. Thank you for letting me teach a bit about airway ultrasound. We will cover the two main uses of airway ultrasound in this short talk, identifying the cricothyroid membrane and evaluating intubation location. First off, the probe you want to use is the high-frequency linear probe. This will give the best resolution for identifying the superficial structures of the airway. When evaluating the airway anatomy to prepare for a cricothyrotomy, you want to orient the probe in a cranial caudal direction. This will give you a longitudinal image of the airway as seen in this cartoon anatomy. We are going to be focusing our ultrasound over the neck primarily. This is the anatomy you will be looking for. I typically start with the most caudal landmarks, the tracheal rings. These are identifying classically with a beads on a string appearance. Once you identify those, you can slide your transducer cephalad until you see the cricoid cartilage, which is sometimes described as a hamburger. After locating this, continue to slide cephalad until you find the thyroid cartilage. Your target, the cricothyroid membrane, will appear as a bright white line in between. The bright white appearance is generated by the air mucosal interface within the trachea. Here's another annotated version of the ideal image you are after. You can see the tracheal rings at the right of your screen with the cricoid cartilage, the thyroid cartilage, and your target, the cricothyroid membrane, sitting right between the two. Once you have identified the cricothyroid membrane, you can mark it on your patient and be prepared to cut if needed. Making this part of your pre-intubation preparation in high-risk airways will decrease injuries to your patients and increase your success. Moving on to the second application for airway ultrasound, identifying tube placement after intubation. For this, you will orient your probe in a transverse position on the neck over the trachea. You'll get a cross-sectional image of the trachea with the carotid arteries on either side. Here, you can see the trachea right in the middle of the screen. The air in the trachea is creating this shadowing artifact. To the right of the trachea, you can see air and a circular structure come in and out of view right here. This is an endotracheal tube within the esophagus, which is normally collapsed. Conversely, here you can see the endotracheal tube within the trachea itself, indicating a successful placement of the endotracheal tube. Note that you can't see the esophagus here as nothing is going through it. This is what you are shooting for. I hope this video is helpful in teaching the two main uses for airway ultrasound, identifying the cricothyroid membrane in preparation for a surgical airway and verifying tube placement after intubation. Thank you for listening and take care.